Tuesday. Nominations announcement day. Nothing new happens every Tuesday. Only this Tuesday is different. This Tuesday, we're going in. Hello, welcome to Big Brother's Little Brother. It's day 34, the time is now. What? 72? Uh, this show is more jam packed than one of Glynn's Victoria sponges, so we need to crack on. She left the house on Friday night, but she can't keep away. Grace is here with us. And <laughs> today, Grace is going to be my personal dance instructor. Love Ooh, it. La, la. And also, <laughs> she's going to be on trial for the crimes against the housemates in Little Brother Kangaroo Court. Young lady, guilty as charged. Actress uh, Catherine Jakeways is with us. Hello, Catherine, how are you? Nice to have you with us. Uh, she's going to be telling us why she's glued to the telly and why we should all love a floater. Curious. Uh, and yesterday, the housemates nominated for the third time. Just before we hear the live announcement, here's who the fine people of Cardiff think that uh, they should nominate if only they could, and they can't. <laughs> This is Big Brother. Please could you give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? I'd have to nominate Mickey or Mikey. I, I, don't, I don't know his name. We just don't get along at all. Richard, because he's just so boring and he goes around backstabbing and he thinks he's all that, but he isn't. Lucy, because I just think she's fake. Imogen, because she's just letting the country down. She's just pathetic. <laughs> There's no one in there called Lucy. <laughs> <Isn't> there? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Now, could you give the name of your second... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to tell you, though, So, the good people of Cardiff would like to evict Imogen, Mikey, Richard and Lucy. Who the heck is Lucy? It matters not. We're in the camera run. It's book of exciting. Let's hand over to the main show and see who the Blue Blazers is up for eviction this week. Roll the tension. This is Big Brother. The housemates nominated the week are Nikki and Imogen. And Lisa. What do I say? And Mikey. What? what? <coughs> really? Mike? What? I'll have felt that. I've done that, yeah. That's it, innit? Open the door. Oh, me, I'll save me. Laughing. Yeah, man. You are. Is that it? That's it. House guys are now free <laughs> to leave the <laughs> Hang on. I thought Davina said there'd be a punishment. Glyn, Imogen. Leah, Lisa and Nikki. In the past week, oh. you have all broken the rules regarding discussion oh, of nominations. Oh, Each of you will now be asked to choose one of the rule breakers to face the public vote. Oh. Nikki. Leah. <coughs> Imogen, I'm sorry, babe. I'm it's okay, sorry. It's okay. Nikki, I'm sorry. Okay, I choose Lisa. Nikki, you are the first housemate nominated for eviction this week. Uh, so, Glenn, Imogen, Leah, uh, Lisa and Nikki are all found guilty of discussing nomos this week. Uh, but it was Nikki who received the harshest sentence when she was put up for eviction by her fellow offenders. Since then, uh, Ashley and Mikey, Pete, Richard and Susie nominated in the usual way and she was joined by Imogen, Lisa and Mikey. They all now face a public face. It's been ages since we've had four people up, isn't it? Surely. That must be a couple of series ago. One of them's going to be joining lovely Gracie in the big wild world this Friday. It's Gracie's with us, everyone. <laughs> 
Grace, if you hadn't left on Friday, you'd be standing right there um, with your with your fellow housemates. Um, who would you have chosen out of? Oh, well, it was Glenn, Imogen, um, Leah, Lisa, and Nikki. Leah, because I got on with her least out of out of the the clan. And she would have been up as well. That would have been two each. Mm -hmm. So who's going to go out of those lot? Um, I think probably either. Imogen or Lisa will go, Why? judging on the public, because everyone's finding Nikki amusing. Uh, Mikey's just kind of laid back, chilled, think everyone thinks he's all right. Mm. And Lisa, some people don't get Lisa. They don't get that she's just wicked and she just speaks her mind and think that she's annoying. I don't think that. And uh, Imogen, people have been calling her dull, which I think she's just a nice girl. OK. So, yeah. Who, out, out of those two, who do you think will go out of Lisa and Imogen? Maybe Imogen. Interesting. OK, well, uh, Imogen, Lisa, Mikey and Nikki are all up. It's official. Grace, if you would, please, do the honours. <laughs> I now declare the uh, phone lines open. Wow. Look at that. A little bit of big news, as always. Uh, this year we've seen love stories ignite quicker than one of Lisa's ciggies. But are we putting two and two together? Coming up with five? This happened at 11.32 this morning. Take a look. No, I think you fancy him. Mm. Yeah, you do. Mm. Yes. Are you chatting about? Men. Yeah? Mikey, if you have to think one of them on a date, which one would you choose? Well, there's only one possible one. You don't even consider that about them. Oh, I don't know. I ain't saying. Hmm. I wonder who that could be. Uh, we've always known that Welsh stallion Glenn is proud to have the best body in North Wales. And at 1.27 this afternoon, he's decided to share it with the rest of the world. Lucky us. Take a look. Oh, Glenny Vi. Glenny! I saw your nuts then. I only see your nuts. He loves it. <laughs> oh, to be floundering off the coast of North Wales. And lastly, fame hungry Catty always hitting the front pages, and we're not talking about our housemates. We are talking about the world of fashion. And at 2.16 this afternoon, the housemates will set a new task. Claudia and, the, Claudia and Naomi, you needn't worry, my friends. Take a look at this. Terrifying. <laughs> Always tell me to stone there. Uh, that was Little Brother's Big News. Ooh, joining me now is the actress, Catherine Jacobs! Please don't take away my Jake away. Oh, they used to sing that to me at school. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Uh, nominations, what do you think? Yeah, exciting. Four people up. What a shocker. Well, I don't know. It's weird, isn't it? I think it's no big surprise about Lisa. Mm -hmm. And obviously, we knew sort of slightly about Nikki. What a shame that Nikki's up again. But Imogen and Mikey together. I know. That's weird, isn't it? I think, I do think it will be Lisa who goes. Do you? Yeah. Don't you? I don't know. I keep saying too much and I keep yeah, getting told oh, off. So. I well, know. I think it will. I think it will be Lisa that goes. Fantasy question. Yeah. What would you do if you were Big Brother? Because you have a lot of theories about this. Oh, this my year. God. Uh, if I was Big Brother. I think what needs to happen now... I think it's been brilliant, this series of Big Brother, but I think that what we're lacking this year are a couple of really big characters. Mm -hmm. Um, I think, like, last year we had Science and Derek and the whole Anthony and Craig thing. Do you mean in particular thing. men? Because we've got big yeah. characters. Most of the characters I think I do, really. really. Women, I think they? I do. We've got Nikki, obviously, who's the best character in there. She's brilliant. Uh, but I think, yeah, they need to put a guy in. The trouble is, if they do it now, it's going to look like they're just doing it because Leah and Ashley were Oh, because you've just said it. it. Or, yeah, maybe. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you can get the credit. But, but yeah, but I think they need to have a guy in. It doesn't necessarily matter if he's fit, although good if he is, because it'll make them all sort of slightly Why is that, do you think? Is it because, I mean, the guys we've got in there, Mikey's quite... 
Mike is Rich, very sexy. But he's Sorry, ready Greg. to be unassuming, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Yeah, he's quite. He's Rich is very much himself. the father figure. Yeah. Oh, hang on, we'll get on to Rich in a minute. Yeah. I know you want to talk about Rich. And Pete yeah. and, and Glynn seem to be on the, that kind of journey. Yeah, so they're too nice, aren't they? They've got their own agendas, haven't they? So there's nobody who's really going to be a, a, a big personality okay. at the moment. And I think also if they put a guy in, it'll stop Leah being so miserable. I'm just never... I mean, I was thinking... Do you honestly think anything would have stopped Leah being so miserable? I honestly don't think I can picture what Leah looks like when she's smiling. Oh, no, I just can't... I, I can't want to see think it. what happens. Leah, smile for us Yeah, now. her face just doesn't move. Does and also, it'll be good for Nikki if they put a guy in because um, Nikki's gone in there wanting to meet a man, hasn't she? She said that she wants to meet a... What I think is brilliant about Nikki is she went in there saying that she wants to meet a footballer mm -hmm. and she's chosen the one year to go on Big Brother where all the footballers are in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> all the good footballers are, are in another country well, you did and say, all the other footballers are watching football. You so said this not to us on her. the phone that we, you know, about Nikki uh, finding a, a man in the house. Yeah, it'd be got, lovely. We got to thinking, you know, we'd love that to happen too. So much so we decided to, to try and help. And here's... Aww how you Brilliant. can help. Meet Nikki. Like many, she's not living the life she deserves. I was born to, to just have my come out. I'm middle class. I hate it. But you can help. Just 10 pounds could buy her some fake tan. An extra 100 pounds could get her a cut and colour. Life doesn't have to be this way. <gasps> it's not fair! There we go. How about that, everyone? Imagine... Oh. Well, it could be a far better place <laughs> if we all just give Nikki money. <laughs> And then she'd be upper class. But yeah, then yeah. she'd be like the queen. Then. <laughs> now, listen, you've obviously been studying the house very closely. Uh, yes, anything you've spotted ahead of the rest of the viewing public? Because you, uh, you mentioned Richard. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure there'll be other people who spotted this, but I think it's important. That I think there's a danger of people forgetting what Richard was like in the first couple of weeks. I think the last few days, particularly, Richard's been quite funny and he's doing his whole fatherly thing and he's sucking up so much to Big Brother that I think there's a danger of people forgetting what he was like in the first couple of weeks with Shabazz. He was so horrible to Shabazz. He was the absolute ringleader of let's pretend he's not even here. Shabazz was a strange housemate yeah, to be Yeah, but he with. didn't deserve any of the stuff that went on with him, and particularly it was Richard who was, who was the worst. And I think that was the one time that we've really seen Richard let his guard down. I think, he's, I think Richard's watched a lot of Big Brother. He was really keen to be on the show, and he knows how to come across well to people. And mm. I think he's playing the game. I'm not saying, you know, he's probably a nice guy in real life, but I think he's doing a lot of this will look good. And all that stuff with Lisa about, oh, I think we should have our talk now, because Big Brother's told me I have to have a talk with you, and also I know that the public will like it if I try and make friends with you. But do you don't think it's that forget cynical, what he was he, like with you, Shabazz. Do you think it's that cynical, or is he, is he just being the catering? I don't think he's lying in bed at night thinking this is what I've got to do to win, but I do think he's, he's got a bit of a plan of I want to be the father figure. And because he's older and because he's because he's the, you know, one of the few guys in there. Mm -hmm. But I think it's important to remember what he was like before. Oh, yeah, you went for it there, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, sorry. That was like a mission statement. Sorry, Rich. Uh, now, uh, what things can you envisage seeing in the next couple of weeks? What do you want to see? Obviously, right, well, I think this new hunky guy going in. Yeah, I think, fantasy. hopefully, that's the fantasy. I think Lisa will go this week, like I say. Um, and then I think probably Imogen's not going to be that far behind. But I think now that Mikey and Imogen know that they've got, that their sort of days are numbered, I think we may see a bit more thumb wars. With Mike and Imogen, sorry. Thumb Grace. Wars. I'm not saying there's anything behind it, but I just remember when I was at school, when I fancied someone, it was Thumb Wars he wanted to play. <laughs> thumb Wars at Dawn. Yeah, Thumb Wars at Dawn. It's going to be Thumb Wars City, I think, Wonderful. in the next week. Lastly, lovely smile. Firstly. Thanks very much. Secondly, who are we back in? It's pretty awful. Well, Nikki, I mean, I really think, I, th I think probably it'll be. Pete or Glyn will win, but I really want Nikki to win. I think she really deserves to. She's been consistently the funniest one in there. She's a brilliant character. And she is, although you say Glyn is going on a journey, and he is, I think Nikki's going on a bit of a journey of her own. I think she's learning stuff about herself. Yeah, journey to Harrods when she gets yeah. out. <laughs> Thank you very much, Catherine, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. She's back in. Yeah. Yes. Ooh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, no, I've done it wrong. That's more like it. There we go. Uh, now, be upstanding for after the break, the Little Brother uh, courtroom will be in with the Honourable Judge Dermot Finton, uh, Sean Dermot Finton O'Leary presiding. Uh, but before she's up for the beak, Grace is going to help my dying dancing by teaching me a kick-ass dance move in four minutes, seven seconds. I'll see you then. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to day 34. Time is... 
7.51. Uh, Grace has been teaching me all breaks, so here we go. Talk to you through it, Grace. A five, six, seven, go. One more time, Matt. In, out, and ready. Push it, and push it, and in, and round. Shake it down. Woo! Go! Thanks, everyone. <laughs> yeah, but that is the calm before the storm, because we're taking that to court in a minute, and I'm not talking carpets. Uh, Imogen, Lisa, Mikey, Nikki have all been nominated, but who's finished their stretch inside the big race? Well, she sashayed out of the Big Brother house four days ago in a blaze of fush bowls, but here at BBLB, we couldn't help but feel Grace got off a little bit lightly. It's time for Little Brother's little courtroom. Order, order, order. Grace silence for Little Brother's little courtroom, which is now in session. You are Grace Carla uh, Adam Short of London, are you not? I am. Oh. <laughs> You'll stand accused of crimes against your Big Brother housemates during your 30-day stay in the house, and you're here today to defend yourself. Your first charge is that of indecent exposure. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> After criticising others for their flesh-bearing, you were consistently the most scantily clad housemate of them all. No, I wasn't. Often customising clothes with the sole purpose of exposing more flesh, Sometimes executing dance moves, wearing nothing more than skimpy underwear. What say you? Can I have a lawyer? And I'm guilty. I will... Well, what? <laughs> well, we'll whisk through this and have a spot of lunch. Um, <laughs> but just for the okay, sake sorry. of the viewers... OK. Let's see Exhibit A. She walks around with her arse cheeks hanging out every five minutes. Jesus, I don't know why that girl even bothers wearing knickers. I've seen everything. And she, I wish she would put some clothes on. So it'd be all right, Shadow, all right, bigger. <laughs> Order! Order! Keep the pants talk down. <laughs> what say you in your defence? Well, actually, no. After seeing that, I don't think I am guilty. <laughs> I'm, yeah. Contempt of court. On the count of indecent exposure, do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 stop doing that. <laughs> uh, the next charge is that of slander and general cattiness. <laughs> you were repeatedly caught on camera as you tried to undermine the character of your fellow housemates through the medium of catty comments. What say you? Uh, um, I can help myself. Um, Is that all you have to say <laughs> for yourself? I plead insanity. Um, exhibit B. <laughs> she's a boring she's old had her hag life. with her great big silicone chunky thunder thighs. She thinks she's God's gift and she's a moose. Thinking she's a bee's knees when she's Martin dressed as lamb. Yeah. You should see the girls that she hangs out with. I mean, you've just got to look by her photos. They're for dirty birds. <laughs> Young lady, you appear to be visually squirming <laughs> when you're watching that, VT. Anything to say for yourself? Um, no, I... Yeah, I've said, well, what can you do? Any regrets at all? Any alibis or excuses other than the fact you are 20 years old? <laughs> <laughs> no, I hold my hands up. Oh. I, am, I am absolutely guilty. Guilty as charged! <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you all thrown out. <laughs> the final charge is that of assault and splattery. Ooh. On the evening of day 30, 10.08, you were seen by the nation to utter the word sorry before throwing a glass of water over a certain Susie Vedicle. I'd have evidence to suggest you had accomplices with Imogen and Lisa, and when challenged by Ashleen, you responded with, shut up, you moose. <laughs> what say you? Um... Eviction fever. It was oh, eviction fever. Eviction can help, fever. Can help it. Let's take a look. Sorry. Oh my god! Why did you do that for? Oh, How dare she? 
What do you have to say in your defence? I enjoyed every moment of it. <laughs> Please tell me you regret it. No. Nope. Oh, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you have seen the evidence. You have heard what she has to say for herself. Now you must decide her fate. Do you concur? Guilty or not guilty? <gasps> oh. She is guilty. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, uh, you have found Grace guilty of all these crimes. I hereby sentence her to community service for the rest of the televised week exclusively <laughs> on PBLB. I declare this session and indeed this programme over. We are back tomorrow as you were. Take it down! <laughs>